So when the game roulette, uh, a wheel with 38 spaces, 18 red, 18 black, and 2 green is spun, uh, in one of the possible bets, a player bets $1 on a single number. If that number is spun on the wheel, then they receive $36, their original dollar plus 35, uh, additional. Uh, otherwise, they lose their dollar. So on average, how much, c uh, money should a player expect to win or lose if they play this game repeatedly, uh, repeatedly? So for winning, let's first talk about the probability of winning. Uh, if they bet on any one number, their probability of winning, um, the probability of winning is 1 out of 38. Uh, so then for losing, the probability of losing is the complement of that. So there are 37 ways, uh, that a player can lose. Now to compute this idea of expected value, uh, and, and we're talking here about, uh, sort of your expectations, um, then, uh, we can compute that expected value by multiplying the probability of winning times the value of winning, uh, and adding to it or subtracting from it the probability of losing times the value of losing. So for winning, the value of winning is a positive $35. So we get $35 more than we started with if we win, and the probability of that happening is 1 out of 38. We're gonna add to that the, um, the other outcome, which is losing, and that outcome has a value of negative $1. In other words, we lose a dollar, and that happens with probability 37 out of 38. Uh, if we add those together, we end up with 35 over 38 minus 37 over 38 is negative 2 over 38, uh, or in other words, about negative 0 0.053. So in other words, if you were to play this game, you should expect, on average, to lose about 5 cents per spin. So in other words, if you were gonna, if you played for hours and played for thousands of spins, on average, you should expect to lose, uh, f about 5 cents per spin. Sometimes you'll win, sometimes you'll lose, but on average, uh, you'll lose about 5 cents per spin. So now let's look at a, a lottery problem. Uh, so, uh, we looked at this lottery before, and we figured out that the probability of matching, uh, all six, uh, numbers was, uh, one out of the, all the possible, uh, choices. So it was one out of the ways of picking six numbers out of 48, which was one out of, uh, 12 million-ish. Uh, and the probability of matching five, was, let's see here, we had to, from six numbers, we had to pick five, and, uh, then from the 42 non-winning numbers, we had to pick one, and we ended up with a probability of about 252 out of, again, that 12 million, uh, there. Uh, so now let's think about values. So this thing has a value of positive one million dollars. This ha- this outcome has a value of positive $1,000. Uh, and then, of course, there's the probability of not matching anything, uh, which is gonna happen the rest of the time, right? So 1 minus the 253 out of 12 million, 271,512. Uh, and this has a value of negative $1, because it costs $1 to play. So to compute our probability here, we're going to multiply, we're going to multiply this probability times this outcome, this probability times this outcome, and this probability times this outcome, and add those up. And when we do, we get a value of about negative, uh, 0.898. Uh, In other words, uh, if you play lotto a whole bunch, you should expect on average to lose, uh, about 90 cents per ticket. Of course, most people lose their dollar and only a few people are actually win anything, but on average, you should expect to lose 90 cents.